So ground pork, ground beef. And in that, I want to add some garlic. So here is a little bit of garlic, minced garlic. I want parsley. So a little bit of flat leaf parsley goes in. Some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, or if you wanted to use Pecorino Romano, you could do that as well. That goes in. And then, of course, some salt. So here's some sea salt. And pepper, a little bit of pepper. And then in this particular meatloaf, which is a meatloaf that comes from home, mom always used grated carrot. That was a way of getting vegetables into us. So a cup of grated carrot goes in. And then we have to beat up two eggs. And this is to help bind the meat. So two eggs, slightly beaten, in a bowl. We add that. And then to help also bind this, and because we're making this Italian style, we're not adding breadcrumbs to this particular meatloaf. Instead, we're adding potato. So here I have just some new potatoes you could use. You could use red skin potatoes. You could use Yukon gold potatoes if you like. And then I put them in the bowl, in my ricer, and just rice them. I don't want to mash them because I want a little bit of texture with this. So you just rice them in. If you don't have one of these little gadgets, you have to get one. And this is what's going to take the place of our breadcrumbs. So once you have that, then we're ready to get our hands in there. So there's our potatoes. And I'm going to move this out of the way now and show you what to do next. So now, we really have to get our hands into this. So you mix this up really, really well. So now I've got to wash my hands again and do the next part. So we're going to fill this meatloaf. We're going to do something a little different. This isn't your standard meatloaf with ketchup and oozing cheddar cheese. So you want to flatten out the meat. So I get out a bake sheet, and here we have a piece of wax paper. I just transfer the meat right on the paper. It's like that. So you want to pat this out, kind of get it into a, a rectangular shape. So that looks good. And now, here we have prosciutto. <coughs> Excuse me, this is prosciutto di Parma. And that's that wonderful ham. Any cheese that's a good melting cheese will work beautifully in this. So you get your cheese all ready, sprinkle it on, and then we have to do the classic roll. I'm going to put this aside and just sprinkle the rest of that on. Okay, there's our cheese. We're going to be baking this in the oven at 350 degrees, so you want to have your oven preheated. Now, <clears throat> to do this, and this is why this is on wax paper, I use the paper to help me roll. You see? Just roll the meatloaf up, like so. So once you get it rolled up, kind of neaten the edges. I like to push the edges together so that nothing is seeping out of the sides. And you want to make sure it's the same thickness all the way around. So once it's like that, I can roll it, roll the paper off, and I have this beautiful looking meatloaf. And this is ready to go in the oven. And I'm going to let this bake for about 30 or 35 minutes. And then I'm going to add some wine, and I'm going to add some broth to the pan. Good, hot, or cold. So here I have some chicken broth, and I'm going to add, oh, about a quarter of a cup of wine to the pan. And now we're going to add that. So back we go. 
I've got one cooking in the top oven for you. And it's looking absolutely beautiful. You simply pour the liquid around the outside of the pan. That's going to help keep the meat really moist and also it's going to create a nice juice that you can use to pour over the meat after you cut it.